The Rockets made a big mistake by trading away Clint Capella. This guy averaged 14 points and 14 rebounds, so he could help the team score. And on top of that, he was a great defender. He was a great shot blocker. So he was a great deterrent to people trying to penetrate to the basket. I don't understand why they got rid of him. I understand in today's NBA, the three-point shot is highly valued. I get that. And I know that the big man is not as valuable in today's NBA as they were in the past. With that being said, you still need a big man. You still need a low post defender. You need a guy that is athletic, who's tall, who can catch lobs, who can block shots, who can rebound. And Clint Campella can do all of that. Here's the problem that the Rockets are going to face. When they're playing teams that have tall players like Anthony Davis and Rudy Gobert and Jokic, who do they have on the roster that can stop them, that can contest their shots on a consistent basis? Right now, they have nobody. Clint Capella could guard Jokic, he could guard Gobert, he could guard any big. He could, he could cause fits for them. And right now, the Rockets have nobody who can defend those players. Tyson Chandler is not playing right now. They're not even using him. So, I don't know why the Rockets traded Ken Capetta. I don't know why he's on the Hawks. He should be with the Rockets. I believe that Houston will regret this. I believe Daryl Morey made a big mistake by trading him. They should have kept him because, like I said, he can rebound. He can score. He averaged 14 points a game. He's not a scrub. He was a key contributor to the team. So it makes no sense that a young man who's athletic, who can block shots, who can rebound, it doesn't make sense to get rid of a guy like that. I don't understand the thinking behind this. The tallest player that the Rockets have been playing recently is like 6'7". I believe Macklemore is the tallest person who's played for them. That's not going to cut it. Now, this small ball thing that they're doing, yeah, it's fun, yeah, it's exciting, and yes, they've won some games. But long term, I don't see that happening for them. I think they're going to struggle, especially with teams that have tall players like Anthony Davis, like a Zion Williamson. If they face up against Embiid or whomever they play, whatever opposing tall player that they have to face is going to have a field day on that Rockets defense. Yes, the NBA is all about shooting the three. I understand. I get it. But you still need low post players. You still need someone that's a rim protector. You still need someone that can block shots. That, that can defend down low on the block. You need a low post defender. And he was perfect. He was catching lobs from Harden. So he was doing his thing on that end too. I am not sure what the Rockets are doing here. I don't think this lineup is going to work. This small ball lineup that they're putting out there, I don't think it's going to work long term. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, just press that subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I'd greatly appreciate it. And plus, by subscribing, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that you have a blessed, wonderful day.